Good afternoon, welcome to the shed. Uh, before we uh, start with today's project, uh, just a little announcement to make. I'm sure you've seen these big YouTubers with their million subscribers. Uh, they get a YouTube play button. I think it's gold or platinum for a million and for 100K you get a silver one. So uh, I had to go one better. They sent me this week the 75 subscriber wooden spoon. Bet you've never seen one of them before. You have now. So on one of my recent flea market visits, um, I managed to pick up one of these, um, amongst some other bits, which I'll link to in the info cards up there. Um, this is a sliding bevel gauge. I hadn't got one of these previously, and I ended up on that day with two. So I bought this knackered old one with a wooden handle, and then you may remember that uh, I had this one, which was my mystery reveal. Um, tool which is made out of steel, really nice one. So um, today's project is basically to refurbish this. Should be quite an easy one. This one's in a bit of a state but I think it's actually quite a nice one underneath. Again these are about a fiver on Amazon or whatever for a Chinese one. Uh, this one is marked D.A. Bedford. I'm assuming that's the maker's name because it's on both sides and it looks like it's been stamped by the maker, but it could be the, you know, it could be a company one or something like that. So it should be an easy clean up. Um, it's wooden handle. It was soaking wet when I found it, um, but I've, it's had a couple of weeks to dry out. Bit of, bit of brass on the corners, steel blade. Should come up nice. Okay, let's uh, first of all strip it down and then start on the cleanup. Just a quick demonstration of how this would work. You basically choose your angle or, or copy your angle from, from your piece of work, lock it into position. You've now got two edges that you can use on that, like so, like so, like so, for marking up your work. Very easy to use, very handy. Obviously once it's locked in position you can then transfer that angle round and about as you wish. As usual, we start by stripping it down. I'm hoping that I just literally undo this. There's the uh, locking, uh, the tightening lever, screw and washer, blade, and the handle. I'm not going to take the brass off the handle. It's actually got a brass collar going through it, which is quite nice. Uh, it's got a hex nuts are there and that locks in position in there. This should be easy. Um, I just need to be careful I don't damage the wood. But I can't see this being a major drama. I think this will look nice. Straight over to my Scotch Bright wheel for doing the brass um, and then we'll sand down the handle. If you're wondering where I really got the YouTube play button, it's actually my brother and sister-in-law that make these. Uh, they do all sorts of um, designs from Harry Styles, uh, they do custom ones, Tiger King, you name it, they do them all. So they've got an Etsy store, I'll link to that down below. You can pay them a visit and uh, order yourself one. That took about five minutes. That is an amazingly quick result. And how good does that look? Amazing what a bit of brass does. Yeah, DA Bedford it says on there, on three sides. Okay, let's do the other bits. have 
cleaned up beautifully as you'd expect and the steel bolt and the washer as well all come out nicely now the difficult bit the blade or the gauge bit depending on how bad this rust is well we'll see how we go won't we Okay, I managed to get that pretty clean. There is some pitting where it's been rusted uh, and I'm not going to get that out. Reasonably happy with that. So that was pretty easy. Nice clean handle. Lovely bit of brass. As I say, the, uh, the blade's not super brilliant, but I think that'll be okay. Still straight, which is good. Okay, let's put it back together. Washer, nut, locate it. Oh, hang on. This actually has got a special way to go around because the angle piece is in there to stop it uh, flipping out. One thing I did notice when I was taking this apart that the locked position for this one was not in a very sensible place. So it doesn't want to be sticking out like that. So I guess we just have to move the hexagon nut around a couple of, couple of faces until we get it right. I think that's it. No, I've got that wrong again. doesn't fold away quite as neatly as that one but then I guess you get a longer edge on it okay just going to oil that handle with a bit of Danish oil Danish oil was another of my bargains from the market. Paid a pound for that tin. It's about 12 quid in the shops. I was very happy about that as well, as you can imagine. dry that'll look lovely I will also put some oil on the blade to stop it going rusty again I think that's a nice little tool okay thanks very much for watching here is the finished article looks lovely with its brass ends steel blade not brilliant but it's, it's okay uh, as soon as that oil dries, that'll be a usable tool. Another one for the collection. One pound paid. Half an hour work. Job done. Brilliant. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Mm -hmm.